much. Just come on over. Hello. Was hoping you'd drop by. The worst part of space travel is having to eat alone. I used to eat with my better half every meal until he passed. I've got plenty. I hope you're hungry. My oh my, so formal. It is a particular pleasure to meet you, my good sir. I finally retired last year, and I've been traveling all over. I wish I could have done this when I was younger, but it's still a treat. My grandkids are mortified that I'm out here. Positively livid. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the characters I've encountered. I got good shields, and I always have enough helium-3 to jump somewhere safe. I'm careful. So, what do you think of the settled systems? I can't believe there are so many stars, planets, moons, and whatnot. It makes my head spin just thinking of it. Ain't that the truth? I'm afraid I'm worn out, dear heart. I'm at the tail end of a very long day. But feel free to grab some extra food or whatnot. I've got plenty. I'm just gonna grab a quick nap. Keep on traveling, dear heart. It was a real pleasure meeting you. It was a real pleasure meeting you.
keep on traveling, dear heart. I'm just gonna grab a quick nap. I'm just gonna grab a quick nap. Tin can protects us from certain death constantly, Let's without fail. So far, anyway.
that right there. Did you get it?
It's easy to... Dusty. Dusty. Let's talk. Starborn ruins. You see that, right? We have to get a close up of that statue. Wow. I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. Got me pretty nostalgic and I started digging in some old things. Just sort of reminiscing. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. It was surreal, honestly. So most of the messages were everyday things. Lots of excitedly written news about biodiversity and plant life. But one thing stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. The message was garbled after that. True, but this was different. I recognized this pattern from the war. A portion of the message was encrypted. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. He said they were going to destroy his life if he didn't leave the planet now. Then he asked me to help clear his name. He said they had a case against him. Oh, he sounded so upset. 
I know this is probably long done, but I heard his voice. I can't just not look into it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. Not exactly sure, but he mentioned a court case. So I think there's a paper trail. His former employer is at some job he took before he died. I think it was a mining company. It is, but I was thinking about it and well, it's still wrong, right? So I figured, hey, I can do some sort of a remote investigation here, see what I can find out. There's gotta be a paper trail, right? Now, I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. I'd need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees or bribes. That works. I'll tell them to go ahead with the investigation. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again made me want to help him, <laughs> even though I know I can't. Does that make any sense? I appreciate that. It's going to be hard to get some sleep tonight after all this. But the fact that I'm doing something about it might be enough to help. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. Well, anyway, I'll let you know if my contact finds anything. Scanned data can be fairly valuable.
Okay. It's too cold. My fingers can barely bend. if we leave a few things here and make a second trip. Carry that for you?
Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? Sure. Just let me move some things around. Ready for action, Captain.
remember the Emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix. I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The Emissary threatened your ship. Demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. And who gets to say that? You? Me? The Emissary? I have debated morality for near infinity. And all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The Unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. You've really come a long way since the Welcome to Constellation speech, haven't you? I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. They are all connected. And that's the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp?
you're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks, to give up, to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Fighting over them. I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the Hunter's. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. I'm sure you have more questions. Ask. It's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you, offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion. Or is it testing us? I never know who you are when I meet a new version, but so much of you stays the same. It's hard, but each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again, as yours won't have its real me. You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity, and from there, you can become Starborn. You might think the Emissary and their kind, um, whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary to decide what to do about you. To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the Emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go, 
Sometimes the emissary has gone to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. That's... new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The Emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. But the Unity itself doesn't judge. end up having this meeting at this time but it's the usual affair can we make peace no oh how tragic honestly i was beginning to wonder why i kept tending and it's bad habit i started a long time ago perhaps i just like meeting the emissary to gloat <laughs> provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here, to open the way. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Good to see you. 